Hello, welcome to the new Exchange Archive with Office 365, Upgrade and Migration. My name is Ankur Kothari with the Exchange Product Management Team. This presentation is for existing Exchange hosted archive customers. It includes customers who have licenses through the Enterprise Agreement or Campus and Student Agreement or traditional volume licenses. If you are a customer based on service provider license agreement or, or get your services from a hoster, please contact that hoster for more information on archiving services based on Microsoft technologies. The goal of our migration is to ensure that end users and messages that the organization has are seamlessly transitioned from EHA to Office 365. During that period in time, there will be an uninterrupted availability of the archiving services from Microsoft. Migrations will begin during the first quarter of 2012. There are three different flavors of archiving with Office 365. The first is Exchange Online Plan 1. This includes basic archiving for customers that want to store old messages to a personal email archive to reduce email clutter. Exchange Online Plan 2, as well as Exchange Online Archiving, have richer functionality around advanced archiving and compliance, as well as unlimited storage to provide more than 25 gigs of storage for your end users. Exchange Online Archiving additionally has on-premises support to support organizations that want to have an on-premises based primary mailbox with a cloud-based email archive. If you think about how Exchange Hosted Archive and the archiving service in Office 365 compare from a feature perspective, you can see that Office 365 has many more features than the Exchange Hosted Archive service does. It's a much more robust service offering and we hope that you're happy with the offering in Office 365. With that said, we want to make sure that customers know that there are some small differences between the two products. The first is, in retention and hold policies, an organization in Exchange Hosted Archive can have one-click company and domain retention policy from the UI directly. In Office 365 archiving, we have a much more granular capability to allow an organization to use the Exchange Management shell to specify how many users or to actually set it based on the entire organization as a whole. However, it's not UI based. And so an organization would need to either write a script or to write a one line capability to do that on the organization as a whole. However, in the UI, they can specify individual users. The same is true from one click company and domain legal hold. The functionality exists in Office 365 archiving, but it is not a one click behavior for Office 365. Exchange Hosted Archive and Office 365 both have retention and hold policies. EHA gives you simple statistics on how many messages have been removed from the EHA service. Office 365 allows an organization to actually restore those messages if they, if they request based on their expiration period set by the business. Office 365 also has a, a tool that will allow a compliance officer to do random sampling. This tool is desktop based as opposed to website based. From a workflow and reporting capability, in Office 365, there are supervisory and review capabilities that are built into our transport engine. And in Exchange Hosted Archive, the review functionality is built directly into the EHA management interface. Similarly, Office 365 has very granular reporting. It allows an organization to choose which metrics they want to report upon and create the reports to meet their business needs. For customers that require the ability to archive Bloomberg data, we request that you work through third-party partner products to ingest that data into Exchange Online or Exchange Online archiving so that we may archive that data.